what is up? What's poppin'? You guys, it is like spring break right now. It's like gonna be spring break or maybe it already happened for you. But don't worry, there's still summer and like a lot of things coming up where you're probably gonna be traveling. Am I right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right, I'm right, I'm just right. It's like the traveling time of the year. And since it's that time of year, spring break, summer's coming up, I knew, I just, I knew, I knew it was the perfect time to do a travel packing type of video. I also did a poll on my Instagram story asking you guys if you would rather see a travel video or a workout video, and you guys picked travel video. So here I am, coming through with the travel video, so I hope you guys like it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so that you get notified when I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all of that so you know when I'm doing these polls. I think that's it. Let's just get into the video. So first things first, you gotta get out your suitcase. I love just using carry-on suitcases. If I can possibly not bring a huge checked bag, I will do it. I will shove everything into a carry-on bag because I do not, do not wanna check a bag. I'm scared of losing things. It's happened in the past. It's just like way too big and annoying to lug around. It's just way easier to do carry-on only. But of course, if you're going somewhere for like a super long time, that's probably not possible. But if it is, I would do it at all costs, people. First thing though that you guys wanna do is plan. Where are you going? What trip are you going to? Where are you going in the world? What is this trip you're going on? You need to plan what you're doing and what you want to do when you're there. So maybe your parents are planning it so you don't really got to worry about it, but I still love to get inspiration from Pinterest. I go on Pinterest for literally everything in my life. I will go on there and just look up where I'm going and see all the fun things that they have there. What's a must see or things that I just have to do if I go there and that are like super cute or Instagram worthy, all of that. Then also Pinterest is great for packing lists. I love to go on Pinterest and just type in packing list or carry on packing list or checked bag packing list. It literally has everything that you need. Toiletries packing list, anything. Like you will not forget a single item if you do this. There are so many times that I forget to pack something like literally headphones. Forgetting stuff just ruins a trip, so you don't want to do that. You can't just throw in a bunch of things into your suitcase and just assume it'll just be okay. You have to make sure things look good together and you're not just throwing in random things into a suitcase. It makes your life 10 times easier when you get to the destination. You will thank me. So I like to just go through my clothing rack of new items I might want to wear for photos or just new things I have that I really want to wear. Things that'll look good together. Some basics because basics you can just mix and match with anything. Obviously some dresses because dresses are super simple to just throw on and you look cute and you're good to go. Old things that are staples like shorts or any kind of pants, sweaters, jackets. Another thing that is a must for any traveler if you're traveling, going somewhere on the plane, in the car, I don't know, but these are so helpful is portable chargers. Yeah, okay, that's basic. Everyone knows portable chargers. This one that I have found, it attaches to your carry-on suitcase or any backpack, it attaches to anything. It's like a luggage tag. Hidden inside is a little portable charger and it's in this really cute case and you can just attach it to your suitcase. Bam, plug in your phone, you're good to go. It's charging and you don't have to worry about if the plane has charges. If you're waiting around in the airport and your flight's delayed or something, this is gonna help you so much. So I would definitely recommend finding some sort of portable charger, but this one in particular is so cute, convenient. So now it is time to pack and I don't know why, but my cat always decides to just like ruin this whole experience and um, just make my life hard and just sleep in the suitcase or just walk all over it and get hair in it. Good thing he doesn't pee in it because that would not be fun because it looks like a litter box, so. But anyway, <laughs> he just loves to sleep and like sit in suitcases every time I have one open. It's a struggle, but like, he's so cute, so can't be mad. And I have a few tips for packing, and these are probably things you've heard or maybe not. They're just things that I do personally that I just live by. So the first one is to pack your shoes first. I know this is pretty basic, but I think packing your shoes first is really important. It makes it so the heavy stuff's at the bottom. You wanna pack your shoes toe to heel so that it gives you more space in the suitcase. And also having the shoes at the bottom, it just makes it so it's not really getting on other things that are clean. Next tip is to roll your clothes. It saves so much space. It looks cute, like, I don't know. I think it's aesthetically pleasing. So much more space in your suitcase. You can put more things in, especially if you're trying to only take a carry-on suitcase. This this will save your life. My next tip is to stuff your hats. So I'm like a hat 
fanatic. I need to take hats anywhere with me, especially if it's like a tropical place. Like you're gonna need some hats. Stuff like bathing suits, socks, underwear. Also, you can do it for shoes too, but uh, yeah, it really, really helps. Another quick tip that I have is dryer sheets and stuff them in anywhere. I don't even, it doesn't even matter. Just put them in your suitcase. You will thank me when you're coming home and your suitcase is just smelling up from all your dirty clothes that you wore on your vacation. The dryer sheets will literally keep your suitcase smelling so clean and so fresh the whole time. You will, you'll be good. Like it is a lifesaver. Also, just bring another bag for your dirty clothes so you can just separate it. Cause that's just, that's a known thing. That's not even a tip. That's, that's just something extra. I'm just giving it to you guys. My next tip is to, it's not really a tip. It's just like a known thing. And it's just really helpful for liquids, any liquids that you have. I try to only pack mini size of anything. Like I will not bring a full size item. And they got the mini size and everything. Go to Sephora, go to the drugstore. They got it all. They got the high end. I have literally every single product they own in a mini size in case I'm traveling. And I fit it all in this one clear mini makeup bag, they will save your life if something explodes, cause that's never fun. I can't even count how many times I've just forgotten to bring something fun to do on the trip, on the plane or in the car ride while I'm just sitting there all bored. It's crazy. So I always remember now to bring something to entertain me, either like a coloring book, pencil crayons, but the essentials are my camera, I need my headphones because my favorite thing to do on airplanes is listen to audiobooks. I listen to audiobooks because I get dizzy, especially like being car sick in the car, like I cannot look at something, I will throw up. Listening to an audiobook is just like my thing. Like I can just sit there, close my eyes, and I won't get sick. So what I use is Audible. You guys should definitely try it out if you haven't. They have like every book you can imagine. Just listen to it wherever you are. My book, Life Uploaded, is actually on Audible. So if you guys haven't read my book, you can totally just go and listen to it. I'll put the link below if you guys want to check it out. But you guys can get a free 30-day trial. Just go to audible.com slash Sierra Potato. You can also text now Sierra Potato to 500 500 you just sign up and you get a free book so why not and if you guys have any book recommendations for me I would really appreciate that so leave me in the comments what books you guys are loving That's pretty much all my travel tips life hack type of things once you do this you are set to go you're all packed you are not gonna forget anything and you're good to go enjoy your vacation spring break road trip whatever it is you're doing liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you guys are going anywhere on spring break or if you had your spring break already where's your next destination or where do you want to go but yeah I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video